Good morning, I'm Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60. And today I'm gonna to talk about my favorites and my fails for the month of May. And I don't have any new makeup in here at all. So most of the things are experiences, but I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the things that I purchased first. And most of them aren't new purchases. If I look shiny, that's because I don't have on any makeup. I am trying a new tinted moisturizer with a SPF and I've just been trying it the last few days and I want to see how it works with makeup so when I get done I'm going to put some makeup on and uh, and I'll let you know. I'm going, to, I'm going to do a review video soon and when I have a better idea of what I think about a couple of items. And I have yet to make an appointment with my hairstylist so I will share with you what I've been using to temporarily cover my silver hair. But I want to talk about I, I, this isn't in any particular order. I purchased this last year and it is called a Chaffle Maker. And the only, I only purchased it for one reason and it's because Dolores, the baking diva, did a video on Chaffles and I eat low carb. I don't, that's how I feel the best and I have really good cholesterol and vessels so that's how I like to eat. And I have used it and enjoyed it but I wanted to share with you a video of hers and I did this recipe that she made on cheesy garlic breadsticks and I'm gonna link that below and oh my gosh they were delicious it was eggs and cheese and seasonings it made me absolutely love it now this makes one I don't have a waffle maker I think if you had a waffle maker you might be able to adjust the amount to make one. Jim Jim doesn't care for these. He likes regular bread and things like that. But I love it. And it's so easy and quick and uh, it's delicious. And there are tons of chaffle recipes. I think that's, so waffle chaffle. That's how I think you would pronounce it. But this has been one of my favorites during the month of May. And I'm going to probably get my months mixed up. Now, I really can't give you a review on these because they've never been in a fire. But Jim and I were talking and we thought we needed to have something that we could keep a little bit of money, our titles to our vehicles, and just a few other things just to be on the safe side. And I ordered two and I think I have a favorite. And I'll put the links below for you to go check it out to see what you think. And one of my viewers and friends on here is a former fire inspector. So I'm hoping that she will let me know what she thinks of these. But here is this huge envelope. And it's, like I said, it's supposed to be fireproof. It has Velcro. You open the Velcro and there are two large areas to store items. It's double. So, so far, we've been real pleased with this. And here's the other one. It's smaller. And I, don't, I think it was not, I mean, this was less expensive, but I think I prefer the silver. And it's supposed to be fireproof. I hope I never find out if they're fireproof or not, but we feel good having them. And we both told our children where we keep them in case something would happen to us when we're together. But I have felt good about these and I look forward to hearing from my friend to see what she thinks. The next item I bought in February because of L and L is the channel, L is for living. And this may be a strange time to talk about it, but I really, we've really enjoyed it. And I just brought one in here and it is what, it is a flickering flameless candle and it has a remote control and I'll tell you why I like it. I don't know if you'll see that flickering or not. I'm not really sure if you will or not. But it is so nice to have candles and no heat. And we don't burn a lot of candles or don't have a lot of scent in our home. So in the winter, I will burn one candle in the whole house and it can't be a strong scent. Just because I don't really think it's real healthy. But that's just my personal opinion. But I'm really enjoying this. And this is the largest one. And I'll put a picture of the three of them up there. But I've really been enjoying this and so has Jim. We always look better in candlelight. You know, I live in the state of Illinois, and I think we're going to be required to wear masks for some time. And I really wanted to get some decent masks 
and my cool friend, and I named her the Queen of Cool. Her channel name is The Old Carol Show, and I ordered these from her. I got two leopard, three peace signs, three camo, two black, and two blue, and they are so soft. The first thing I did when I got them was wash them. That's what the instruction said. They're triple. They are very, very comfortable. And if you have to wear masks, I think that you want to have something comfortable. I know it's going to be difficult this summer, but with my age and Jim's age, and he's 10 years older than I am, I know masks are supposed to protect the other person, but I think they kind of protect us too. Just my humble opinion. But I'm going to link a video of Carol's below. So if you're interested in these masks, uh, they're, they're, they're super nice. They really couldn't be nicer if you have to wear a mask, so I wanted to tell you about those. On March 3rd, I ordered some new tops from Amazon. I was watching a video of Susan, Little Poet, and I really liked the sleeve of the blouse she was wearing. So I clicked on her link, and I'm going to go ahead and put some photos in here of the, of the tops that I ordered. I think I ordered four, and two of them are in the same fabric, and I wore one of them when I did my uh, update on derma rolling, and I'll put that up there, and I'll put that in the cards, and I'll link it below. But I ordered four, got them in. I wash everything before I wear it. Washed them, hung them up, and they did beautifully. The first thing I do is I inspect it. I want to make sure the stitching is good, that it's not going to ravel, that the seams are flat. I like this. This has just kind of a tiny little pucker in the sleeves and what I did I think they have plus sizes I ordered the extra extra large and I usually wear a 14 16 top if I'm buying a woman's size they fit fine they're not long and I don't really like a real long top but they're really comfortable and I haven't gotten to wear any of them out except for today I am going to go to the grocery store and I'm gonna wear this so just looking at them in my closet made me happy in the month of May, just like looking at my winter pajamas made me sad in the month of May. Last year I got several items I was really pleased with in the clothing. And if you click on, I'll show you what it looks like. If you click on my Amazon page, I have three different categories. One of them is called Influencer, which I don't think I am, but it's just a bunch of different things that I use, that I buy. I usually put everything I buy in my Amazon store and I try to remove something if it doesn't work for me and then I have another one that's beauty and one that is clothing but if you'll look there's a little box in the upper right hand corner and if there's lines in it you just click on it if there's something I want to add or information about it or to size up or size down I'll put that information there but when I order anything from Amazon I go to one of my friends Amazon pages and that's where I place my order when I edited my video from last week, I couldn't believe how bad my hair looked. And it wasn't dirty. It just looked horrible. Well, so I washed my hair the day before yesterday. And I filled in the silver and filled in the, the, the roots up in here. And I used the Color Wow Temporary Root Cover-Up. I looked back, and I'm going to put a video up here and below. I bought these in May. They're over... They're over six years old. And of course, I don't have a ton of roots, but I use this one, which is the dark blonde, and this one, which is the blonde, and I can put streaks in my hair. Like I said, I did this the day before yesterday, and it will stay in until I wash my hair, which will be tomorrow. So I have not been a slacker on my roots like I was last week. I use the brush that comes with it, and you know me, I go around the edges because I don't want to hit pan. And I just bounce it in and put it in there. Just bring it in. And if you want to get to your right in through here, I just use an old um, e.l.f. eyebrow brush. And I just run this along here. And then I'll just go right there and put it in. But it really is easy. There are a ton of different root cover-ups. And I've never tried the spray. But I do have several of the powder root cover-ups, and, and they're just my favorite, and they're easy, and that's what I like. Something I've done, and I talked about it last month, but I've taken it to another level, and it is freezer organization. I have a chest freezer in my laundry room, 
So one day I just took one bag out at a time and I think I have everything about in four bags. I just turned on my video on my cell phone and I just, as I took something out of the bag, I just said what it was. So after, and I kind of reorganized everything. So after I was done, I went to my computer and I typed out a list. The first one is bag with black straps, then bag with red straps, then Walmart bag and, and zippered vegetable bag. So I've got this pinned on my refrigerator and then I have like what's on the side and what's underneath all of the, all of the bags. And Jim has appreciated this so much because a lot of times after I've gone to bed, he'll think, well, I think I'll fix a pork chop or something like that. And he really appreciates knowing exactly what bag to go to to get what he wants. Because I, I, what I do is when I get meat, I freeze it individually and then, and that way, whatever we want, we can just get out. But I've been really happy with that and it works so well. Something I'm really excited about is Instacart, I but I've gone one step further. Now I know, you, and you have to have a smartphone to do this. You have to have the Instacart app, and you have to have stores in your area that you can order from Instacart. When I place my order, I always try to make sure I do it at, so my delivery is between 10 and 12. So the last two times I've done it, I have clicked on my the app, and I can watch them as they put things in my cart. And they can, and I can communicate. If they make a suggestion, I can say, no, I don't really want to do that. Or, you know, and then also in the app, when you order it, you can mark if you don't want any anything to be substituted. But that has been so helpful. The first time I did it, I got half my items. The second time it did better. And last time, I was right, I set a timer so I would start looking at nine o'clock. Every 15 minutes, I set my timer to see when they started and they started about 9.15. So I've, I really like that. And I think the Instacart shopper appreciated it too because we were able to substitute, we were able to substitute things or not. This is a cup that I've been drinking out of since Jim has known me. And it says, the difficulty in life is the choice. And I do find that to be true. So every morning I put about two tablespoons of half and half, and I've used half and half for years. And I microwave it for about 20 seconds. And then I take my frother and I froth it up. And I bring the frother up and it makes the froth higher. Well, I had some of these freeze dried coffee tubes in my, I was going through my travel stuff since we haven't traveled and I had some in there and I thought, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to put a little bit in my half and half before I froth it. So every day I've been adding some instant coffee. In fact, I'm just about out of the tubes. So I bought, I like Colombian coffee. So Juan Valdez and I are going to have coffee together every morning. So, and what I do, I just put a one heaping baby spoon into my half and half after it comes out of the microwave and I froth that up and it is so delicious and it doesn't add any carbs or calories and it's just made me very very happy. Something else that's made me happy are these Parmesan crisps and I do know how to make crisps and I've done a video on it before and I don't think I could find it but if I do I'll link it below. These are jalapeno and even though this is a small bag, it says two ounces, and I think this was around $3. One bag will last probably five different servings. Let's see how many servings are in here. Well, it says three. there's three servings and it's 12 crisp. So that means there's 36 in here. I would say I usually get about five or six when I'm really kind of wanting something to bite into to crunch, and, and I really do like them. And I got these at Aldi. And I talked about on May 6th, I changed my eating habits because I didn't want to start having any problems with my blood sugar. Well, I'm happy to announce as a reward for doing that, I have lost 10 pounds. So now I am at my lightest normal weight. You know, there's a five pounds one way or five pounds the other. And I really think the older we get, the slower we need to lose weight. So. That was March 6th, that's been, so by doing it slowly, I've lost 10 pounds and, and that makes me happy. 
and I've had some questions on how I do my moderate low carb and I will link a couple of videos below and I'll tell you at what part to look for it to see if it's healthy for you. I know what makes me feel good and I'm sure you do too. I'm saving my very favorite to last. I have one more thing. Through the month of May, I truly enjoyed watching The Voice, number one. I really enjoy The Voice. And I usually will start American Idol when they're down to about 10. And I enjoy watching that too, but not near as much as The Voice. So I've really enjoyed that. I can't get into watching series recently. I'm not a huge television watcher. I have watched some really good series in the past. But I just haven't gotten interested. I like I like something that is fast moving. So if you have any suggestions or you want to tell me what series you have been enjoying, I don't I don't like movies that much because it's hard to sit still. Although we can now pause them. So if you have any series that you've enjoyed, just share those that with me below. And the biggest thing I am the most excited about is my oldest grandson graduated from the university. And of course, the graduation was canceled and I did have him over. We sat on the back patio and I got to visit with him for about an hour and it was wonderful. And I'm hoping that we'll be able to do more visiting soon. I, I do miss my family. He is not going on to his master's at this time. He's going to look for, a, for work in his field and he has a major in accounting and a minor in finance, but it was so wonderful that he graduated and he'll be moving his things home soon. Even though he took classes online, he has his apartment in Evansville, Indiana. I can say that. That's where he went to school in Evansville. And he has his apartment until I think the end of July. And he also was on the Dean's List every semester. So I'm really, really proud of him. And now I wanna talk about my fails. And one of them I had recommended to you and it makes me feel really, really bad. They're generic erasable ink pens, retractable erasable ink pens. They come with a little, they have a little piece of plastic on the tip, which I thought, wow, this is really great. It's going to keep that gel ink flowing. Well, you took it off and it did really well for maybe a week and then it just quits. Every one of them have been that way. So I was going to order my favorites, which are the Pilot friction and I placed an order and I thought for sure that I ordered them and I got a box of 60 Bic ink pens 60 for five dollars this is just half of them I'm going to give these to my daughter she works and she does a lot of uh, after hours things where they have to give out pens but did you know you can get this is half of them did you know you can get 16 pens for five dollars and they they work i just don't like pens that have a cap on them at all so then i did order my friction erasable gel pens and i don't use these for any documents to write checks or anything but i use it for everything else because i'm always making a mistake and if you're still here this is going to be a giveaway and i'm going to have one winner and I want to share with you what I'm going to give away. The first thing I'm going to give away are two of my masks, and I hope you enjoy them. I'm not even going to open this up. This is the Go Going Coconuts eyeshadow palette from ColourPop. I bought all these things. I'll put a picture of them up here someplace. And the Laura Geller Flower District, I ordered this from QVC, and I'll put a picture of it because I'm not even going to open them. And then this is my last lip flushing faves. It's from It Cosmetics, their Hydrating Color Awakening Lip Trio. And the Eco Tools brush set that I know I've purchased 20 of. I took them from the case, they've never been used. So since this is a giveaway, I will not be able to reply to comments on this video, but you can go to any video and you know I'll get back to you. This is international. This giveaway will be closed in three days. You just have to be subscribed to my channel and be 18 years old or older, which I think I'm pretty well set on that. So if you wanna be in the giveaway, just in the comments section, just tell me something you enjoyed during the month of May. It is all good. I wanna thank you all for watching, for commenting, for giving me the thumbs up, for sharing me with your friends. It's very much appreciated. And I will see you in my next video. You take care.
And I do have a one of my her channels her channel and I just turned on my I just turned on my and if you want to know how, almost two months in March and I've at I do know some so um, and he's he may may <laughs> nor 